What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Welcome to episode two of the Arnell Agenda. And I am your host, Lawrence Arnell. Uh, I thank you guys for checking me out, man, for for taking the time. Uh, I really do appreciate it. You have no idea. Maybe you do. Maybe you do have an idea. Almost everybody out there listening to me right now has considered doing a podcast of some sort. It's almost guaranteed. If you're listening to a podcast and you have an opinion about something, there's a chance that you have spent some amount of time considering podcasting yourself. So I'm, I can't even pretend that there's you don't have no idea how much it means to me that you're actually listening to my show right now because it took a lot. It took a lot to get me to even commit to doing this. And if you're listening right now, then you are the payoff. You are the payoff for me taking the time to set up this camera, to set up this mic and record this audio and just spill my guts, man. I mean, it's just me here. I don't even have no guests here. My man, my dog Memphis won't even come over here. He's over there on his bed. He won't even come over here. I'm by myself. By myself. Real. All day. Podcast. By myself. <laughs> so this is episode two of the Arnell Agenda. Uh, I got a couple things I want to talk to y'all about today. Uh, it's really only two things. One of them is serious to me. All right. And the other one might be serious to us. It's probably more serious to you than it is to me. But we're going to talk about it because we've been talking about it, you know, for for about a week now. Um, First up, man, I want to talk about my own personal life situation. I've been I recently got a couple packages in the mail. I don't I don't know if my wife could tell one package from another, especially around this time of year. Uh, but I've, I've been getting a lot of shoes in the mail lately. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, I am low key uh, making an attempt at becoming a bit of a sneakerhead. I have gotten very much into different kinds of shoes. Uh, different kinds of sneakers and I've recently been going ahead and indulging in that particular uh, uh, interest of mine um, I got some homies who are legit sneakerhead okay um, oh man listen uh, my boy Frank Mueller alright y'all gotta go to these Instagrams alright uh, my boy Rizio two, uh, I think it's Rizio215 I'll I grab his I grab his handle I throw it on the screen for y'all. My man Rizzio's a sneakerhead. My boy Sabi is easy sneakerhead. Uh, Frank Mueller, good lord, my man. And these these dudes I go back like twenty years with these dudes. You know what I mean? I know these dudes for for decades. Uh, dope Nixon, check this out. Go to Instagram and look up the foam closet. And check out my man Dope Nixon from Army of the Pharaohs. Dope just put out an album. Um, I featured on that joint too. I'm on there. I think I'm on there twice. I think I'm on that album twice. Honestly, your album ain't done if I ain't on it twice. That's me. If you know me, then you already know. Your album ain't done if I ain't on it twice. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do, La? Go to Instagram. Check out the phone closet. My man Dope Nixon got the illest uh, Nike phone posit collection. I mean, he got some J's in there, but he's a, he's a phone posit here. I can't even get in that game, yo. I grew up basically having to make a pair of sneakers last like six months. You know what I mean? My mom's, I ain't, I ain't come from no wealthy family. I ain't getting the streets like that. My mom, single mom, working, trying to make ends meet. Most of my life, I had to kind of make a pair of sneakers do the thing for a significant amount of time. I, there was a time, I would say mostly mostly through high school, where I really only wore all black Air Force Ones. That was it. That was my that was my kick, right? The all black Air Force One is a do-it-all shoe. It go with anything, it go anywhere, it lasts forever. 
and I wasn't an athlete or nothing, so I wasn't dogging no sneakers out, running ball and nothing like that. Yeah, you know I mean, I got dressed. I wanted to go see whatever shorty I was gonna kick it with, and it was me and my Air, my all black Air Force One. These days, you see somebody in a pair of all black Air Force Ones, and you gotta worry about whether or not you safe, right? <laughs> right. The the, the 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 all black Air Force One is now the official shoe of the the, the I don't the the it gaff boy. You know, what I mean? like it could be whatever. You see somebody in a pair of Air Force, black Air Force Ones, like you. You might be about to get robbed. Like, I intentionally don't wear them anymore because I don't want to be seen as a suspect. All right. <laughs> but that was that was my thing, right? So now I'm trying to figure out how to go about becoming a sneakerhead. There's a couple of things. I got a couple of caveats. All right. Because I don't want to wear anything everybody else is wearing, right? First of all, I'm 40, I'm about to be 42. All right, I'm gonna be 42 in a couple weeks, right? So I don't wanna be wearing something age inappropriate. I can't walk around in the kind of shoes my daughters will walk around in. I can't be walking around in Yeezys that look like uh, aspirin pills or, or that look like they're made to float if you, you know, if you you lose cabin pressure, I'm not going to wear those. So I've been trying to find sneakers that suit me as, you know, a dad, right? As a man of a certain age, as a dad, right? And uh, so I find myself on the Puma website often. I love Pumas, right? I find myself on the Adidas website often. Uh, I love Adidas. It's funny because they make like a shoe that's the same shoe. They make the Puma Roma and the Adidas Samoa. They're almost the same shoe, but those are like two of my favorite sneakers. And I I cop them like it ain't nothing, right? Um, so I've been I've been I've been getting down with those for the past few years. Actually, I've been getting down with Samoas and Romas for a couple of years now. But just recently, the Adidas website has been calling my name. And the Puma website been calling my name. I got some liquid cells going on and some pod S3s popping. And I'm loving it, yo. I'm loving it. But I need to know how to get into the thorough stuff without leaving the house. Right? <laughs> because <laughs> I hate my my theory is if I can't get it online, I can't get it. Right? I'm not trying to be in the store. I'm not trying to be in the store. I already, I already said I'm a man of a certain age. I'm not trying to be in Snipes. All right. <laughs> I'm not trying to be in Snipes elbowing nobody kid over no pot as threes, bro. Like, I can't do that. I can't. So I need to know. I need y'all to hit me up. Like, get in my inbox. Get in my DM. When you see these websites, you know they got to sell. Adidas, Adidas.com doing this 20 fit code, the, the, the discount code right now is 20 fit. You get 20% off a lot of dope stuff. I got to be honest. I miss the pair. I miss the posterizers. They just dropped a shoe called the posterize. I ain't even in the basketball shoes. I'm in a like running shoes, but the posterizers is sick. And it was 30% off around black Friday and I passed. And now I don't even think. I don't even think I could get a discount on them right now. I got to wait. I got to wait again. But I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to be out of my size before they go back on sale. So I'm, I don't know. I might have to drop my wife a link and see if I get them for Christmas. I don't know. We'll see. The other thing is, is I don't care to wear Jordans. I've never been a Jordan guy. Please don't hit the skip button. Don't stop the video. Don't back out of my podcast. Just stay with me. All right. I never been a Jordan guy. I did not have the opportunity to get into Jordans while Jordan was playing when I was young. Because like I said, I was I was Mr. Six Months with a pair of sneakers. I was scrubby scrub toothbrush game crazy. That was me. I couldn't get into Jordans because that's that's a year's worth of sneakers. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get some breads and they that's a year's worth of sneakers. I can't get I can't I'm not gonna rock that pair all year. 
Like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna understand that. So I, I never got into Jordans, and at this point, I'm at a point where I'm like, well, th there's no imagination in rocking a pair of Jordans. So I can't get down with the Jordans. I d I have seen the Jordan Why Nots. Ridiculous. That's a shoe I could find myself breaking rule for. Them joints is crazy. And these Spike 270s. Is that a Jordan? I need you to talk. Somebody talk to me. Because I, I think the Spike 270 is a Jordan. If I'm not mistaken. I'm I'm calling it a Jordan. That's a dope shoe. The Why Nots and that Spike 270 is two shoes I feel like I could find myself going outside of my, my norm for. I could do that. But that's my thing, man. I've been I've been trying to get into becoming a bit of a sneakerhead. I'm trying to do it online because I ain't trying to be in those stores. I, 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 I deal with the end result of people's poor decisions made in public for a living. I'm not trying to be out there. I'm telling you right now because if I'm in Snipes and your kid is, is, I'm not waiting in line. I'm not waiting in line. I'm not waiting in line. Listen, I'm not. I'm I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm not waiting in line for no sneakers. I waited. I'm not waiting at my door. Door delivery man gonna drop my sneakers off. That's gonna be what it be. All right. That's it. All right. Uh, other thing I wanted to talk to y'all about this week. This week in the news, young lady in New York by the name of Carol Sanchez. Y'all know the name. Y'all know it. I know y'all know the name. This young lady, 16 years old, was seen on camera being abducted by a group of unknown males. All right? She's walking down the street with her mom, and these dudes pull up in the car on a dark street, jump out the car, knock her mama down, grab her, drag her into the car, drive off with her. That is a among the scariest things any of us has seen in a very long time. Uh, the media got crazy, uh, putting out information, seeking information, trying to find these cats, uh, trying to find her. Every, uh, you know, you got your, 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 uh, your, 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 your media, your press conferences, people, your mama crying, everybody worried, whole world up in arms. Cause this young lady, been abducted and we think that she's been taken by sex traffickers and she walked into the precinct unharmed the next day listen folks if you follow me on social media if you follow me on facebook or instagram you already know i am a police official i am a law enforcement official i'm a detective in the major city police department i have been for the last three years i've been a cop for almost 10 i called this from the rip I called it from the rip, staged. Now, people thought I was being an ass. People thought I was being an ass about it. All right. But I said from the rip that this was either staged or related to something illicit, like a family member in the game. Somebody wants some ransom money or something like that. But I knew from the rip this was not what y'all been making it out to be. This was not no white van situation. Okay. I called it. And I want my props. <laughs> All right. Everybody think it's a everybody thinking it's a some sort of white van situation going on, man. Social media is going nuts about this sex traffic abduction uh epidemic that's going on. I'm here to tell y'all today. Right now, I'm glad y'all stuck around with me because I'm here to tell y'all right now. I have been a cop for 10 years. I've been a I've been a detective. For three, not one, not one single founded abduction has ever crossed my path. Not one. 100% of my missing person juveniles have been runaways. Okay? Nearly 100% of my missing person adults have been people out and about doing something they ain't got no business and don't want you to know about. They in the casino all day, they at their side piece crib and they ain't coming home or they have just decided that they out and they not coming back. I can think of two, two for a fact that have turned out to be deceased. That's not a missing person. It's tragic and nobody wants that result either, but they were like suicides. 
These are not, not a single person has been abducted. Okay. Now I was not being a jackass about it. I was making an educated guess based on my professional opinion. All right. Here it turns out educated guess, teen girl plus media hype equals staged event. That's it. That's all I got. All right. The little girl ain't want to move to Honduras. You want to move to Honduras? I didn't think so. So what do you think? What would, as an adult, you would probably come up with something a little bit more logical. But a 16 year old girl logged into Facebook, seeing everybody snapping about these white vans. She think to herself, I ain't trying to go to Honduras with my mom's. My mom's tripping. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself white van. That's it. All right. Nah, man. Listen, next time, just wait for me to put y'all on. All right. Just wait for me. Cause I, I ain't got the inside scoop, but I got the scoop. I got the outside scoop. All right. <laughs> that's, that's what I got. I got the outside scoop. Stay with me. Now, the other thing I want to address is people that want the little girl punished. Right? And people tripping. This girl, she need to be punished. Yo, she's 16. All right? She's 16. She ain't no criminal. She a dumb teenager. Okay? She don't need to be punished. All right? She needs some community service. All right? She need to be embarrassed. Sure enough, she is. Y'all see that picture of her at the press conference and her uncle looking at her with the with the with the face? I knew you was lying. You always starting something. <laughs> right? Right? She need to be embarrassed. She need her ass beat. All right. But you ain't hear that from me. That's the 80s in me talking. All right. But I want to close this out by telling y'all, I'm not telling you not to be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your surroundings. I'm not immune, okay? Even though I was able to call a situation, I knew what it was hitting for from the rip. I'm not immune to it either. I went to the bank with my girls the other day. I got an eight-year-old and a 13-year-old. The, they are my pride and my joy in that order. I love them to absolute death. Went to the bank the other day. I'm perfectly within my rights to leave them sitting in my car with the heat running while they playing with their phones and minding their business while I run in the bank. I could do that. But I got to park in my car and thinking about going in my bank and coming back out and finding out that my baby's got white van. And all I could see was me going to prison because I'm not even going to call the cops. I'm going to go find the van. That's me, though. So I took my babies in the bank with me. I'm not saying don't be aware of your surroundings. I'm not saying don't be cautious. What I am saying is, is you are more likely to get robbed at gunpoint, to get robbed at knife point, to get ambushed and strong arm robbed in the parking lot of your local grocery store, in the parking lot of your local bank, while walking back to your car from shopping in the mall, you're more likely to get ambushed and robbed violently shot and killed maybe you're more likely to suffer a, a, an ambush robbery than you ever will be suffering uh an ambush kidnapping white van situation thrown off and being trafficked sexually robberies happen every day i have never seen a founded abduction i ain't never seen nobody founded get get white vanned i deal with people getting robbed shot and stabbed every day so if you want to be on guard about something be on guard about that anyway and if you're on guard about that chances are if you are that one in a million person who somebody was about to snatch and grab and try to turn into a sex slave it ain't gonna happen no way because you already watching out for the robber that you for some reason ain't thinking about i don't know why you ain't worried about that especially this time of year it's the holidays they, they the wolves is out it's juxon it's juxon season uh, you know, y'all worried about white vans. Y'all need to be worried about. I need to be worried about black gloves and black masks, man. Y'all gotta stop playing, yo. So let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. I'm right, but let me know if you think I'm wrong. We could argue. We could argue in the comments. I'm with that. Don't DM me to argue. That's shady. Do it publicly. Be wrong in public. All right. Do it in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Uh, listen. Uh, my name is Lawrence Arnell. I'm really glad y'all stuck with me, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, and I hope I offer you something of quality. This has been the Arnell Agenda. Again, my name is Lawrence Arnell. Whatever you do, please.
do good first. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.